That's one of the motivations for the project. The backstory goes back about 10 years. And one interview, we were talking to this woman, uh, Joey Azaro Busby, who had made a living earlier in her life packing fish. And she sort of stopped the interview and she gave a speech about how it's right to recognize the fishermen. They're obviously instrumental to Gloucester's history and economy, but that females who worked in the industry themselves, mainly the fish packers, tended to get overlooked and ignored. And she made a speech about how instrumental those women were to the industry and the history of the city. And that sort of stuck with me. That was 10 years ago. For every one fisherman, they say there's six shoreside jobs to go with it, supporting jobs. So there's six times more people that worked on fish on land than the actual fishermen. It was almost all women. Most of the men went to sea, so all the women were the ones that were home to pack and uh, cut the fish. Every boat could have anywhere from 40 to 80 to even 100,000 pounds of fish. And, and now we're lucky if we see that in one week. And we'd have four or five, six boats a day sometimes. I'm so impressed with how hard these people worked. I remember coming to work in the morning and see fish cutters in the early morning fog, walking down the street with these huge fillet knives. You know, just walking down the street with their knives. It looked like something out of a horror movie. A lot of them lived down the fort and they'd come in and they, they'd pack fish and uh, fillet the fish and all that. And then at Mug Up, they would go and play cards and I would go with them. I, here I am, 14 years old, all these older fish cutters and fish packers and they'd welcome me, come on in, let me take your money. <laughs> we'd play cards for 15 minutes real quick and have our little Mug Up, you know, and get back to work. And I'll never forget it, the stories and the characters and the, the expressions that they used. and. Yeah, it was just an amazing, great experience for me as a young kid growing up down on the waterfront. The Fish Workers Mural is an awesome Gloucester conception. This group came up with the idea, did research, made connections so that we could get access to the wall, the artists, the funding. We're both, you know, recreational fishermen and enjoy that quite a bit. But for me specifically, you know, personally, it was much more about having a local impact. So to do something that's kind of a historical archival in our neighborhood that celebrates the people in our neighborhood was huge. It's like almost leaving our little our mark, you know, over the years. Is you know, long after we're gone, that building will probably still be there, and maybe the mural itself. So it's like a little timeless gift to the community. It's kind of a, a collage almost. Like you can get several dozen really old photographs that we can cut them up and kind of dissect them and take you know a singular person out of a group of people and use that. Take images of fish cutters, a group of ladies, take another image of a lumper in the background. It's kind of like a, a treasure hunt. So the, the final piece was a, a tunnel vision almost, a light at the end of it with a lumper in the distance. We have uh, a group of women, fish cutters from like the 50s. The fish cutter in the bottom right corner of the mural is my cousin Lenny McCollum, who worked for our family business his whole entire life. He passed away in September from cancer. He was also my best friend. And he's got two brothers that work in that building now. It meant a lot to them to see him up there. You know, we just got an email from Anne Malloy saying how great it is and how it's touched the entire family and the community. And so in the end, that's what we want, is like the customer, whoever we're working with, to be excited, you know. Seeing the neighborhood people come out and tell us how much it means to them is more than we could ask for, so that's awesome. And I hope every time the community sees it, it reminds them of how hard the women all work down there, back when a lot of parts of the country still didn't have women working. The women packers were absolutely thrilled that I've talked to. They're in their 80s, 90s now, but a lot of them have reached out to say how happy they are that it's there. A core aspect of our mission is preserving heritage. All the people who have made a living in those jobs, not just the jobs that are represented on the wall, but all the people who have made a living on land, on fish, we want them to feel like they're recognized. The community considers their contributions 
significant. And if those people felt visible and respected, that's as good as it can get.